Sunsets on the beach, Caribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you met, you met your Mr. Right at Walmart. At Walmart, right? yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, I contributed to the study there. <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough to get through the lines at Walmart. Now you have to deal with cheesy pickup lines. It's not going to be good. All right, well, here's a look at our weather here as we head through the next several days. High temperatures near 80 degrees, another winter storm on its way, and another opportunity for us to get some measurable rainfall and some cooler temperatures. Tonight at 66 at Phoenix Sky Harbor. The dew point's at 36 degrees. Relative humidity is at 33%, and winds right now are light. They're out of the east at 3 miles an hour. Here's where we're headed tonight to 55, so very mild on our overnight lows. We'll keep with our clear sky conditions. Winds coming out of the west at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, sun is up just a little bit before 7 o'clock, but by the time we hit tomorrow afternoon, we'll reach a high of 80, putting us a few degrees above the normal. We are still expecting a mix of sunshine and clouds, but all in all, tomorrow's going to be a pretty nice day for us. High pressure building into the southwest, so that will lead to a warm-up here for the middle of the week. Meanwhile, we've got a weather disturbance that's moving out to the east. You can see it producing some snowfall in parts of southeast Colorado and northeast New Mexico. Another winter storm, though, impacting parts of the northern plains, stretching down to the central and southern plains. Snow continuing to fall around the Minneapolis area. We'll have our own winter storm, but we'll have to wait pretty much the whole week to get there. This one coming out of California once again, sweeping up that moisture from the Pacific. We'll have chances of showers beginning on Friday here in the valley. Thursday night, though, for the high country. Showers are expected to continue at least until about Saturday, and at that time, we're expecting temperatures to dip down into the 60s. So once again, we're going to kind of have a little bit of roller coaster weather here for the next several days. Lows tonight, 54 in Gila Bend, 37 in Prescott, 27 tonight for Flagstaff. We'll be in the 30s in Winslow. Tomorrow, high temperatures near 60 in Flagstaff, 67 for Prescott, 70 in Sedona, 72 for Globe. Tucson, a warm 80 degrees, even warmer though for Gila Bend at 84. So we start to see those temperatures dip a little bit by Thursday, but it's still a pretty dry day. By Friday, we bring in a 40% chance of rain for the afternoon, evening hours. A 20% chance on Saturday. Temperatures dipping to the upper or low 60s, but we're back into the mid 70s by Monday. Keep it right here. We're coming back right after the break. That's our news. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. You don't see tornadoes very often here across our state, but of course we know they do happen just a few years ago having that tornado break up in uh, northern Arizona. But today we are far from anything like that. Here's a look across the valley right now and you can see Camelback Mountain webcam there showing nothing but clear skies. Same thing over in the white takes and the only uh, camera here that's showing anything different is South Mountain. We have a few clouds out there, just high clouds and uh, really temperatures have been gorgeous today. Just a little bit cooler than yesterday because we actually do have a weather system that's passing to the north of us. So it knocked our temperatures down just a little bit, but we're still nice. They're at 75 degrees. Winds are coming out of the west at 7, and relative humidity is at 21%. We're 78 right now in Tempe, 72 there in Scottsdale, 74 in Peoria, mid-70s for Glendale. Goodyear, you're at 78 degrees, and it is 77 right now over in Buckeye. And here's a look at the satellite. We have this uh, weather system, and it's really just a weather disturbance, the dry end of this passing through. And so it did bring some cloudy skies to parts of the high country, but for the most part, very moisture starved. So we didn't really see much in terms of precipitation. Uh, but again, we'll continue to see this push on out. And really the main effect for us was that it knocked our temperatures down just a little bit, but it'll be moving out and then high pressure replacing it. So that means warmer temperatures here over the next couple of days. In fact, by tomorrow, we should hit 80 degrees here in Phoenix. Same thing goes for Wednesday. And then we start to see those changes in that storm system that I'm talking about. But it really doesn't come till the end of the week. Another storm system moving in from the Pacific bringing moisture with it instability. We'll see chances of rain and snow showers up in the high country. Here in the valley, we're expecting rain as well and much cooler temperatures. This weekend, we're going to see those temperatures drop all the way into the 60s. So just kind of letting us know that winter is not officially over yet. Here's a look at tonight. We're dropping down to 55 here in Phoenix under mainly clear skies. 27 in Flagstaff. 47 tonight for Sedona. Tomorrow, Flagstaff, you're near 60 for a high. 70 in Sedona. 80 degrees here 
here in Phoenix, 84 in Gila Bend, and 79 in Casa Grande. And so even though tomorrow we're going to see warmer temperatures, we may actually also see some high cloud cover moving in as well. Then our temperatures kind of coming down into the 70s there as that storm system approaches on Thursday. Friday and Saturday, we're looking at those temperatures only in the 60s with temperature, or I'm sorry, with a 40% chance of rain on Friday and a 20% chance of rain there on Saturday. And then by Sunday, we start to see those temperatures climb once again. Well, if you've ever wondered how I predict the weather, you're not alone. I got this question from David Largo from Constitution Elementary School. Hi. Hi, my name is David Largo, and my question is, how do you guys predict the weather? All right, David, well, that is a great question. So we're back here in the Weather Center, and of course, all meteorologists look at weather models, and I have one pulled up for you here. This one is called the GFS model, and what we're looking at is the upper levels of the atmosphere. So you see this meandering pattern here? Well, that is actually the jet stream, and this is exactly how storm systems move through the atmosphere. So anywhere you see this little dip here, that's what we call a trough. And anywhere you see this dome here, that ridge, that is an area of high pressure. So you can see that is actually over our area right now, which means generally we would be expecting a warm-up, which we are, and then also some dry conditions. Now, of course, these computer models cannot do anything unless they have data. And for that, you've all heard of the satellite radar. So you've seen this uh, during the broadcast every night where uh, satellites are collecting this information. And you can see it here in a map here. This is water vapor. So you can see the brown there showing you some dry air and then, of course, the green there is showing you some moist air. But another way that we collect data is through weather balloons. We've got some video of that. And twice a day, the National Weather Service will re release these weather balloons up into the atmosphere. And they're basically recording layer by layer as they go up. They've got weather stations. It records temperature, air pressure, relative humidity, uh, winds, wind direction, wind speed. And all of that information goes into these weather models that I show you, uh, showed you here. And of course, this will help to predict not only maybe a day in advance, weeks in advance, but even a whole season in advance. And of course, the last thing is really just experience. Forecasters uh, have to know their climate. They have to know the terrain that they work in and weather patterns. And that, of course, will help them uh, better predict the weather. So hopefully, David, I answered your question. And of course, if you all have any questions, um, not only just concerning the weather, but also EDB Live, you can ask us and we'll definitely do our best to answer them on the air. Just go to our Facebook page and you can post them there. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, Karibay, thanks. Good stuff. Coming up right here on EDB Live. Welcome back, everyone, to EVB Live. Well, Scott and Dr. Denise just did that very informative interview about allergies, so I thought I'd give you the bad news, especially if you are allergic to juniper and ash. It is almost at the very highest count for tomorrow, and unfortunately, the allergy forecast is going to stay about the same here for the next few days. On the other side, temperatures have been great today, 76 degrees out at Phoenix Sky Harbor. So yesterday we were 77, so only a degree cooler, but we had more sunshine today, so I think it made it a little bit better. 74 is the norm. 88 is today's record high. 25 is today's record low. This morning we were 53 and pretty much right on target with 52 for this time of year. Here's a look at currents. 53 right now in Flagstaff. We're in the mid 60s in Sedona. Low 60s in Globe. Down in Tucson we're the low 70s. We've got an 80 on the map. Gila Ben, you're at 81 and close to 80 there in Yuma at 78. But we've got a couple of locations that are warmer than Phoenix. Pretty unusual but Dallas 86 degrees right now. 83 in Corpus Christi. Even El Paso it was a little bit warmer than we are, but lots of cold air as you travel up northward. 31 right now for Chicago, 28 in Denver. So probably no surprise that both of those areas have seen snowfall. Snowfall through the Denver area, Colorado Springs, mainly rainfall here as you uh, move through the central plains, but snowfall still falling over Montana, North Dakota, stretching over into parts of Minneapolis. Here's your forecast for tonight here in Phoenix. We're looking at clear sky conditions, temperatures mild in the mid 50s, winds will be out of the west at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, we're looking at partly sunny conditions, so a nice, a nice mix of sunshine and clouds, but temperatures will be warmer. We're hitting 80 tomorrow with the light southeasterly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, we do see some changes here beyond Wednesday especially. We'll cool down a little bit there on Thursday, start to thicken up those clouds. Storm system moves in from the Pacific, bringing us rain chances, a 40% chance on Friday afternoon into Friday evening, and then a 20% chance there on Saturday. But the biggest change for sure will be that major drop in temperatures down to 61 on Saturday.